have it though. I am Jeremy, and we are your hosts Plus for the Samaris game, game show. show. In this game, the points don't really matter. As long as you're pointed towards, towards God's God. love. And this is our effort to kind of reach out to people at home, to anyone really to learn more about our faith, learn more about our church, and this will be done through the games and questions that we have for you. In the next few episodes, we'll be inviting three teams. Uh, in, one epi in each episode, the three teams will be competing in Kahoot. Yeah, and if you guys have played Kahoot before, you know that this is a game of speed and accuracy. So we really need participants to know the answers and then after that, quickly press the answers to be on the top of the podium. And right now, we're going to introduce our very first team. Right, let's go ahead. Okay, in today's game, we've got three lovely contestants. Team contestants, actually. And when we want to introduce the first pair, uh, Team Jen. Can we have you introduce yourself? I'm James, and this is my son, Jeremy. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Round of applause for Team Jam. And next, uh, we're going to meet uh, AQ. Hello, my name is Andy, and this is my son. This is nice. Welcome. Arthur, yeah. Team AQ. Hi Arthur, hi Andy, nice to meet you guys. And the last thing we have is uh, Team St. John. Hi, uh, I'm Sophie, and this is my son, Jonah. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Jonah. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you, Mr. Welcome. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to start proper with our very first question. Are you guys ready? Oh, before the first question, we've got a team challenge. Mm -hmm. So your pen and papers ready, teams. If you do, can you show it up to the viewers? All right. right. Okay. So this is what you need to do right now. I need all of you to just go back to back. They will see each other's papers. So, so you'll be sitting like this. Write down your favorite saint. Remember, back to back. So your partner doesn't know what you're writing. Yeah, I don't want to know what Jeremy is writing. <laughs> <laughs> it is so exciting. I wonder what they're writing right now. Some ready, some are thinking very hard who their favorite saint might be. You're ready, thumbs up. Good. So we'll do this. Uh, we will start with Team uh, Jen first. And uh, maybe what we'll do is we will ask you, we will ask James to just mention what do you think is Jeremy's favorite saint? And for Jeremy to say the same thing, you say, I think. Uh, my dad's favorite saint is what? So we'll just hear from you from there first before you flash your answers. Jeremy's favorite saint is his namesake. Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> okay. And uh, what about Jeremy? What is your dad's favorite saint? Mother Teresa. No, Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, his favorite saint is Saint Jeremiah, which is correct. And Saint Teresa, okay. Oh, well done. So you guys got it right. So spot on, you got it all yeah. right. Yeah. Very good. You just got a thousand points each. But the points <laughs> come for nothing, really. <laughs> good job. All right, let's go with Team AQ. I so think you understand. We are very into uh, Saint Francis because we are pretty much into Saint Mary of the Angels, so I think uh, you will write Saint Francis. Okay. And also, what do you think your dad wrote? The same thing. Same. All right. All right. Now for the big review. So both are Saint Francis. Saint yeah. Francis. Oh, good job! Another team gets a thousand points each. Congratulations. Saint John, the pressure is on you now. <laughs> Uh, you mean my son's favorite saint? Yes. Saint would be Saint John Baptist de La Salle okay. because he's staying in Saint Anthony's Primary School. So. Right. Right. Ah, okay. okay. And what about Jonah? Huh? What is Mom's favorite saint? Uh, I think Saint John de Vito. Saint John de Vito because my mother is like. 
ask for the team name. Like my sister was asking for the team name, and my mother said Chun Chun Jun Lee Pito. Ah, okay, okay, that's a very good guess. So shall we see your answers yeah. then? My it was yours. The John Baptiste, yeah, that's right. <laughs> spot on, spot on. And what? this one is Saint Clair. I see Saint Clair. Right? Oh, the Saint Clair. All right. Anyway. Yeah, no worries. You still get. You still get a thousand points. You still get a thousand points. It's a good job to say no. <laughs> Before we start with the next questions, we will move on to uh, the warm-up questions first. Okay. So in this qu- one more question, we're going to ask you to identify who do you think is the friar uh, based on the photo. And you're going to have 10 seconds to answer. Okay? We get a good picture of who do you think this is? Father Esmond. Alright. Yeah, you're supposed to key in the answer right now. So remember for car code, it's about speed and accuracy. So you want to do it the fastest. So if you get all the answers correct, you might not be leading. And Woo, well done! That is my answer. That was quite simple. Very good. Are you all ready good for teams. the five big questions? Everyone is ready. Can we have a thumbs up? Alright, we're fired. Let's go with question one. So question number one is, how long should we abstain from food and water before um, receiving the Holy Communion? Mm, one hour. One hour. Uh, 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 the buttons that appear in a while. Mm. Keep that in mind. When you see it, go for it. <laughs> Okay. Right, yeah, everyone knows that <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay. The answer is one hour. Good effort. Yeah, so for the team that chose 30 um, minutes, it's actually one hour. Yeah, and do you guys know the reason why? Will help us prepare. Uh, body and soul and mm. speed. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. We call it give our, yeah. Give our yeah. fast. Yeah. Where we keep ourselves hungry, not just for real food, but also for the spiritual food. Mm-hmm. Well said, Jeremy. <laughs> okay, at this point in time, our scoreboard shows that A cubed is in the lead. Well done. And don't worry guys, it's only the first question, so we have four more to still rate in your point. Okay. Yeah, remember the speed and accuracy is of the essence in Kaku. Uh, so we all, we all go to second question now. Now please listen very carefully. What is the least likely answer about the use of holy water font? The least likely. So remember, it's the least likely. You have to pick very carefully. Okay. So we have... Got three correct answers. 15 ahead. Yep, that's right. Okay, so the, the question asked you for the least likely of why we wanted um, the use of the baptism font. So, reminders about baptism is correct. That's why in this case, is it wrong. But no worries to the team. Again, we have three more questions. So, let's move on to the next one. Actually, that's quite a tricky question. Yeah, it was very tricky. Least like. Okay, we'll move on to question three. In church, we genuflect before moving in and out of the pew, which is not a reason. So Jennifer is actually going down on one knee.
you know, it's just tough. It's tough. It is tough. Okay, we've got two responses for this. So actually, the correct answer is that genuflecting is not an act of faith. Uh, what we do when we actually go down Yongwani is to show that we want to humble ourselves and that we love God enough that we want to actually um, do service for Him. And that therefore is not an act of faith. Yeah. But again, no worries, we still have two more questions. So get ready for the fourth one. And see, Jen has uh, taken the Wow. Good okay, we have about 100 points there. Yeah, not bad. It's a good job to team Jen for so far. Okay, let's move on to the next question, shall we? Question number four. Question number four What is Father Mike putting on? So your father actually has like multiple layers of vestment, but there was one thing in particular that we were showing, he was putting down. So we want you to name what that is. So again, pastor's finger. What is father Mike putting on? Oh, congratulations, all teams got it. All right, that's right. That is the stole that you put on. And Jeremy, do you want to tell um, everyone, you know, just if you didn't know at home, what is the importance of the soul? Well, actually, the soul uh, to signify the authority uh, given by the church. Uh, the priest uh, has the authority to administer the celebration of Mass as well as the hearing of confession. Mm. Okay, okay, that's really interesting to know. Uh, again, great job to all three teams. Congratulations. Now, let's see who's in the leading. Oh, we still have Team Jam. We got Team Jam. Awesome, now we're going to our final question. Fifth and final question. Our final question, the question is, why do we have lighted candles near the altar? So you guys can discuss, think about it. I think sometimes the church is quite dark, so I think the, yeah. the candles are for priests. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Maybe before there was no electricity, yeah. we needed them. Mm. Yes, and Mary's got lots of candles. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, oh great. <laughs> two answers actually, so we've got uh, two responses here and both are correct. In the Catholic Church, light has a great significance because it represents Christ and Jesus calls himself the light of the world. Lighting up a candle in the church or near the altar is a tangible sign of our faith and is a great manifestation of God's love. Alright, well, that's the end of the game. And congratulations to Jesus Jen for winning her praise. Congratulations. Congratulations to Team A3 for the second place. And St. John for the third place. Uh, but of course, thank you very much as well, Team AQ and uh, Team St. John. I think you've put in a marvelous effort as well. Yeah, you guys did. And we really thank you for participating with us to actually learn more about our faith and our church. We hope you learned something from us today. We hope those at home um, watching with us also will learn something. And hopefully you've, learned, you've discovered something about each other as well. <laughs> Well, this wraps up today's episode of St. Mary's Game Show. If you'd like to be part of the action, or have some fun with us, then click on the link below to join. Now, take that bold step, but meanwhile, stay safe. And God bless. Bye! Bye.